this is Tiana, and I'm going to tell you a story of my worst date ever. And that was with a narcissist. This is a story when I had completed my MBA and I went to the American Embassy for an internship. Along with me, my three friends had joined the American Embassy. As we all four were far away from home, so we rented a 4BHK flat in an apartment near to our embassy and stayed together. From my college days, I had a habit of jogging early morning in a park. My other three friends were lazy who just keep snoozing until 9am. So my daily routine started. Every morning I used to go for jogging and then to the embassy. One morning while jogging, I saw a man who was alone laughing loudly in the park. I got amused and stopped running. Out of curiosity, I went to him and said, is everything okay with him? Why is he laughing alone? He said, everything is fine, but one should laugh aloud every day because it reduces one's stress hormones. That sounds amazing, and I also started laughing along. <laughs> I was laughing like a crazy, closing my eyes. And when I opened my eyes, that guy was missing and other people were watching me out. I felt embarrassed and I walked away. Next day, as usual, I was jogging in the park and I saw the same man again laughing alone. I stared at him angrily and I walked away. The entire day was very hectic for me and I was tired too working late. I planned to order pizza after returning home. When I reached the gate of my society, I was shocked to see that man standing there. And the most shocking thing was that he was talking to a flower. Again, looking at him doing weird things, I couldn't stop myself. I asked him, are you crazy that you were talking to a flower? He replied that, maybe I seem to talk to a flower, but my puppy is hiding behind the bushes and is not ready to come out. Holy crap, not again. Why am I getting a fool of myself? I was feeling embarrassed, awkward to see him. My eyelids were just looking at my toes. And then I felt him lifting my chin upwards. I slowly moved my eyesight towards him. He gave me a cute smile and swiftly grabbed my waist and kissed me. Oh my goodness, that was pleasurable. Now I began to blush. He introduced himself as Vanille. And that incident was enough for us to date. Yeah. We started dating, and he seemed amazing to me. He was humorous and admiring. He showed me lovely gestures, such as he bought me a Cadbury silk every time we meet up, as I love eating chocolates. He sang a song for me and writes a poem on me. It was amazing. He never made me feel that I am wrong. He made me assuming that I am perfect and I never do wrong. Though I used to throw anger on him, lose patience and fight on small things. After a few months, I started finding his other face. Then I doubt if he truly loved me or just dating to show off in front of his friends. For instance, one day we were invited to the party by his friend and I wore a beautiful black dress. But he may take off same and ask me to wear skinny jeans and a green tank top. I was enraged, but I did it anyway. Vanil was also very dramatic when we were around other people. He always tried to grab everyone's attention. One night we were in a group of friends and one of my friends was talking. That time Vanil turned on music on high volume and started dancing on the street. Next time, my best female friend and I were chit-chatting down to our apartment. We were talking about something girly and he falls on his buttocks onto the ground. Another time, we all friends were at the pub and he took off all his clothes. After a while, my best friend said that maybe he was a narcissistic. A narcissistic? What is that? I googled the term and found its definition. Grabbing others' attention. Extreme feelings of jealousy. An expectation of special treatment. Exaggerating achievements, talents and importance. 
extreme sensitivity, difficulty maintaining healthful relationships. All the characteristics seem to fit his behavior. I confirmed with Benil about his personality disorder. He admitted that he is a narcissistic. Still, I gave two more months to him and tried my best to get him out from what he is suffering from. But his behavior was getting worse day by day. And for me, it was very difficult to accept. Hence, I broke up our relationship. I wanted to be the way I am and couldn't show off as my boyfriend wanted. But I learned from this incident and now I will make sure to know in and out about the guy before starting any relationship. If you also have such experiences in the past, you can share it in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked my story. Subscribe to this channel to watch more such videos and press the bell icon for more updates.